What's going on everybody? Thought I would do a video on my experience with everyday carry pens and ink. I've kind of like gone full circle maybe? We'll see uh, what you think. But uh, first off, let me start off by saying my first real EDC pen was the, the Fisher Space Pen Bullet. It of course has the good old fashioned Fisher Space Pen pressurized ink refill. Uh, let me get a couple of these out of the way real quick. And as most of you know, um, it writes, but it doesn't write well. Um, hi. So if we look at hi, it writes okay. It's claim to fame, and the reason I promote this as a great cartridge is because of the pressurized quality that allows it to write almost anywhere, and it lasts a long time. The problem with the refill is it is not super dark, and it does tend to skip a little, and it kind of just, it just puts ink on the paper. This is a, this is a pen that you could carry every day, and it will allow you to write when you need it to write. But that's it. This is not a fun cartridge to use. This is not a pretty cartridge to use. This just gets the job done. And that's why I still like this cartridge. The next pen I bought I don't have uh, with me because I sold it recently. Uh, but it took the Parker style refill. And I chose Parker refills because I like the form factor of the Fisher Space Pen as opposed to the full-size Pilot G2 pens. And there are a ton of Parker refills. These are just two that I have. But there's a bunch of them. So I thought going into it, okay, well, I'm going to have all these options, all these refills. It's a great medium-sized pen. That's going to be the way I'm going to go for EDC. Uh, and I... You can see here, this is the Schmidt Easy Flow 9000. A lot of people like this ink, and to be honest with you, uh, it is, uh, let me get this out of the way here, it's, it's darker than the Space Pen, but it has a lot of skips, and it's just not, it's just not the best. Um, you know, the harder you push, it gets better. Uh, but it's still, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like right here, it, it just kind of skips and there's no ink right there. Like, everybody raves about this cartridge and it's a great cartridge. I mean, it writes, and it writes darker than the, the, the Fisher Space Pen, but it's not that much better. And it doesn't have the awesome qualities of being pressurized and writing upside down and in the water and you name it. So I really honestly was not a fan of this cartridge. So <clears throat> I took this cartridge out of my pen and I bought the official Parker gel. And it is much better. As you can tell, again, it's another step darker than the Schmidt Easy Flow. So you kind of have, you know, Space Pen, it's the lightest, then you had the Schmidt, and then I have this, and this is much better. This I could actually handle. Uh, it, it writes well, it doesn't skip too bad. I did have another cartridge, and I had some skipping issues. I don't know if that was a cartridge issue, or what, but this one that I just opened, popped a little piece off this, uh, just a few minutes ago, this one is writing very well. So if you are a Parker style pen guy, I would say this is gonna be one of your best bets uh, from what I've tried. I know there's like hundreds of ink, but I don't want to buy ink that's hard to find. I want ink that you can get all the time and easily. And I believe that these are fairly easy. I just order them off Amazon, I think. Uh, so this would be my choice so far in the inks uh, that I've tested for uh, the Parker style pen. 
Uh, now introducing the uh, G2 style. When I first started looking at EDC pens, of course everybody loves a, a Pilot G2 and the ink is great. Um, you know, very dark lines, very consistent. It's actually a little inky there. I was writing with this one this morning, so uh, it it it's it's a great cartridge. It's it's a, a beloved cartridge by many. But the problem that I had is most of your EDC pens are longer, and that kind of is not my thing as far as carrying a pen. This is a great pen. I'll do a review on this sometime. Uh, but this is not one that I'm gonna like throw in my pocket. This is this is long for me. Um, it's a good bit longer than the Machine Era Classic here. So I purchased the Machine Era Classic, which runs the same G2 refill, and yet it's much more like your bullet. It is bigger than the bullet, but this I can throw in my pocket, this I can EDC. And I'll go into uh, my preference for EDC pens themselves, maybe sometime. This is more along the ink line. Uh, so there it is. So it's it creates a nice dark line. I would say that the uh, Parker. I'll bring this down and the G2 Parker Gel and the G2 are very very similar in output and color. You know darkness. So <clears throat> those are gonna be those are gonna be some good ones for you guys. Fisher Space Pen. Obviously, it's a Fisher Space Pen, so I believe everybody should just own one and have in their bag as a. It will write whenever you need it to. It just doesn't write well. So Schmidt Easy Flow. Sorry, I'm not a fan. Um, I I get the same results almost out of a out of a Fisher Space Pen cartridge. So. For it to skip as bad as it's doing, it it just that's just not that's not my favorite, and so not a fan of this guy. And it comes with a lot of pens, so I would say swap it out for one of these Parker gels, and you'll have a much better writing experience. Or put in a space pen cartridge. Um, so there you go, guys. I will hope that is somewhat helpful. I've made a lot of mess on this paper now. And hopefully you have seen uh, a few things that might be informative. I will talk to you guys later.